Hello, it's Tony here from Teaching Techniques, Tips and Tools. And today I'd like to show you how to create a digital interactive notebook stroke textbook using Google Slides. So the first thing you would need to do is open a Google Slide. And as you can see, by default, the slides are suitable for an interactive whiteboard. As we're going to create a notebook, I'd like to change them to A4 size. So to do that, you go to File, Page Setup, custom and then I'm going to type in here 8.5 and then 11 and as you can see our slides are now a full size okay so to actually create the notebook what I would use is master slide so you go to view and then master and then when you're in master slides scroll down to the bottom until you get to the blank slide and then I always duplicate it this is just in case I need another blank slide so now I've got my blank slide I need to look for a notebook to put on there so to do this go to insert image and then search the web now as I've previously searched for notebook it's already here so I've already typed it in so I'm just going to bring it across but the fantastic thing about searching for anything within Google Slides is that everything that it finds is copyright free. So it's something else not to worry about. So I'm now just going to drag this until it's the size that I would like it to be. Okay, I'm now happy with that size. I now just want to put a little bit more work just to make this notebook look a little bit nicer. So to do that, you right click and then go to Format Options and I want to change the colour. So I'm going to change it to beige because I'm not that keen on green. The next thing I want to do is to give it a shadow. Because if I put a shadow in there, it just makes it come to life. It looks a lot more realistic, as you can see. Just remove that. The next job is to add some tabs. So to add tabs, if you go to shapes and then look for the tab shape I'm going to draw one check it's the right size and if I'm happy with it I'll duplicate it as long as it fits nicely just there and that's perfect so just before I duplicate it I'm going to give it a shadow as well again it makes it look more realistic that's good and also I'm going to change because I'm going to type on these tabs so I'm just going to change the font size so that I don't have to change it every time. Now I'm going to duplicate it. Just put it roughly in position because these tabs will move on every page according to the page we're at because they've been in a different place. Okay, now I'd like to colour the tabs. So if I just click on them, go up here and give each one a different colour. That's entirely up to you, I just like to give them different colours. Okay, and I need to write in each tab. So this one's going to be temp, temporary. So me. On. Permanent. and they're all types of colours and so the booklet itself you can put a title on the booklet and it's going to be called colouring let's give it a nice scrolly font and let's centralise it Make it considerably bigger. Okay, so now I've done all that, the next thing I'm going to do is duplicate it. So I'll just go over here. Now I've got two, go back to the first one. I'm going to change the background or actually add some background colour because I think it makes it the book pop out and look a little bit nicer. There we go. 
and the final thing on this page is I'm going to put in here a placeholder for the learners to put their name when they get given this. So they've each got their own, they'll put their name in there. Now the reason we just duplicated this is because of now on the second tab, what I'm going to do here is this one is going to change. I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to change the colour to white. And now I'm going to get rid of this box just by simply adding another box, putting it over the top, remove the shadow, make that box white and make the border white. Now, as you can see, it looks like the inside of a notebook. So this is going to be one of the inside pages. So if I now duplicate this, I will actually would duplicate this one several times because of every internal page is going to be put on one of these. So the first one is going to be an index. So again, I go back to the text box, just put a text box straight in there. And then on here, I would type all the contents which are going to be contained within this notebook. And this context could be um, different exercises which are on here. For example, they could be drag and drag, drag and drop exercises um, of diagrams. Um, it could be links to um, PDF documents that you've created or links to websites, or you could insert videos within the slides. Um, so this is as far as I'm going to go here for this demonstration. So if I just now show you what you do next. So if I close this down and now we go back to normal slide view, as you can see nothing's here yet. So what we need to do is you see this little cross, you go to the arrow next to the cross, that will take you to your master slides. And I'm going to select that one. Just going to delete this now. Now I have one slide. And I'll go back and find the blank, one of the blanks. There we are, the index slide. And as you can see, I have the first two slides. Okay, so this is the first slide. Um, and as you can see, this is where the learners will put their name, just there. Um, everything on this slide can't be moved about. Um, that is why you created it within master slides. If you want anything to move about, then you would actually create them within this view. I hope you found that useful.